Next comedian, come to the stage, Greg Milley, everybody. Oh, yeah, give it up for your host, everybody. That's Joey right there. Come on, make some noise. There we go. There we go. Uh, yesterday, I got off the West 4th train station, and on the platform, I walked by three cops, you know, and two of which both looked at me and at the same time did this. And I was like... Dude, I think I just unlocked a new level of white privilege, bro. Are you kidding me? That is sick. But then I kept walking and the third cop looked at me up and down and just did this. I was like, nah. I think these dudes think I'm an undercover cop, bro. That's dangerous, dude. You're high as shit and I love it. I love it. It's the last time I invite my friends out to a show. I, uh, last Wednesday helped my, like, astrology girly friend move. And, um, it was interesting. I spent a long time doing it, and then after it, she was so thankful that I, I finally helped her, and she was like, Greg, thank you so much, thank you so much. How can I repay you? So she reached into her tote bag and grabbed out tarot cards. <laughs> and I'm, like, not really familiar with tarot. So I was like... How many tarots equal a dollar? <laughs> dude, I don't, she, that's what she did, dude. She just laughed at me, right? So I pulled out my phone and I Googled, uh, what country accepts tarot as their main currency? <laughs> Turns out, ladies, just Starbucks. <laughs> but good news, though, I'm only two full moons away at Free Frappuccino, so... <laughs> Let's go. She ends up reading my tarot afterwards, and true story, the tarot cards read, you have to stop doing so much for other people and start focusing more on yourself. <laughs> what, dude? I just spent six hours helping you move on my only day off this week. At no point you thought, let's read Greg's tarot cards before this. <laughs> I just threw out my back for you. I don't even have health insurance, dude. What are we doing? I'll be 27 next month. So that means I haven't been sick in two years, legally. <laughs> legally. And where am I supposed to go, you know? Because I'm broke. So like CityMD? Are we all familiar with CityMD here? Well, if you're not, it's the Spirit Airlines of hospitals. <laughs> They're not real doctors, dude. <laughs> I've gone twice in my life here. The first time I went uh, to get a COVID test because I was dying of COVID. Because turns out, it's real. <laughs> it only took me four times to get it. But I'm sitting in the, uh, the, the, the room with this doctor and as she's swabbing my nose, she has her phone out and she's on Bing. Binging how to give a proper COVID test. She's not even using Google, dude. <laughs> and you know what's worse than that? She had an Android. My COVID results finally came back and they just came back in green bubbles. Like, what am I supposed to do with that, dude? If it ain't blue, I'm not doing it. The next time was way worse. Shot in the dark here, but like, anybody ever, ever, uh, ever have chlamydia in here? Yeah, dude, me neither. <laughs> Gross. So I'm in City MD because I definitely have chlamydia. And I'm in the waiting room, and my doctor comes out with flip flops and a cigarette, and he's just like. Let's go do this, Greg. So I'm in the room with him, and my pants are down, and I'm. Yeah, we're hanging, you know, the best of my ability. <laughs> and he's like, Samantha 53rd Street. And I was like, holy shit, dude, how did you know that? <laughs> yeah, dude. So my doctor undoes his pants and he pulls them down. And I'm like, no fucking dude. Samantha 53rd Street? And he was like, Nah, I just wanted to show you mine, too. 
Dude, I respect the hustle. That's a good doctor. I do have a girlfriend now, though. I love her very much. She's awesome, right? But uh, before my girlfriend, I was having sex with this other woman. And uh, I didn't really know her very well. I met her online. And she happened to be a post-op transgender woman. And I had no idea that. So I'm like, we're having sex and I'm trying to spice things up. I'm trying to dirty talk, right? And I'm like, whose pussy is this? Whose pussy is this? Whose pussy is this? <laughs> and she looks me in the face and says, uh, Mount Sinai's. <laughs> guys, thank you so much. Give it up for your host, Joey. Thank you, guys. <laughs>